Thank you very much. I'm very honored to be a part of the curatorial group of this exciting exhibit. Before I introduce the item I selected for the exhibition, uh, I would like to briefly go over the history of Japanese collection here at Yale. The history of Japanese collection goes back to Samuel Wells Williams. An official interpreter for Commodore Matthew Perry's expedition uh, to Japan in 1853. He later became the first professor of Chinese at Yale, at which time he provided his diary and Japanese documents acquired during Perry's expedition. More Japanese books were later added by Yale faculty, uh, librarians, and the alumni from Japan, but it was not until the tenure of Asaka Kaichi that the collection of Japanese materials began systematically, and the core of the collection was formed. Asaka received his PhD in history from Yale in 1902, and in 1907, he returned to Yale to teach and become the first creator of uh, Yale's East Asian collection. And he continued his work until his death in 1948. Thanks to Asakawa and his pre pre predecessors, the library is one of the few major collections of uh, pre-modern Japanese books and manuscripts outside of Japan. While I can now show you the richness and diversity of the collection, notable items include the Hyakumanto Darani from the 8th century, the earliest known printed text reliably dated now displayed in Beinecke next to Gutenberg's Bible. As well as uh, this luxury copy of the Tale of Bamboo Cutter created around 17th to 18th century. So for your convenience, uh, I have created a bibliography accessible through a link in the chat. Uh, containing the extensive research on the history of Japan, Japanese collection at Yale, as well as uh, links to items introduced today. And uh, researchers uh, continue to make uh, new discoveries in our collection, so uh, please look forward to uh, more in the future. Oops, sorry. So I'm delighted today to introduce this Kokets Karuta, Rain Cars of Great Men, one of the latest addition to the Beinecke's Japanese collection acquired in 2021. The exhibit is shown here uh, in a slide. Uh, please note that a second installation uh, containing yet another deck uh, of cars will be displayed, uh, giving the sensitivity of those cars to light. The Gokets Karta uh, complements the existing carry uh, collection of brain cars at Yale. Um, a tonishingly extensive collection of uh, playing card, tarot deck, uncut card sheets, uh, metal plates, and other playing card crafting materials named after the graphic artist Uli Well Press founder, Melbert B. Carey Jr. The collection includes includes items from all over the world, including Japan. So um, I would like to introduce the history of playing cards in Japan, showing uh, some cards in this collection. Um, while I'm not, I do not claim to be an expert on the subject, nor I am a skilled card player, um, I hope this overview will offer a glimpse of those cultural objects, complex history, uh, some details of which remain remarkably unresolved. The word for Japanese playing card, karta, comes from the Portuguese karta, um, owning to the import of Portuguese playing cards into Japanese around the late 16th century. 
As an example, a Unsun Karta deck bears a noticeable resemblance to Portuguese Karta, uh, the set shown here, uh, probably uh, produced sometimes in the early 18th century, um, as a trick-taking game between two teams of four, uh, a match involves players placing cards from their hands in the center, from which the highest value card and taker of the trick is determined. And the side with the most cards wins the game. A Unsun deck consists of 75 cards in five suits. The first four are um, identical to Portuguese kata, uh, prav, sword, uh, chalice, and uh, coin. A fifth suit was introduced in Japanese karta called kuru, based on the uh, heraldic crest tomoe, a coma-like swell shape, as you see here. The addition of kuru as a fifth suit seems to have been uh, exclusive to Japan. Each suit has numbered cards from one or ace to nine, as well as six face cards, um, handmade, uh, mounted soldier, warrior, uh, god of fortune, Chinese offshore, um, and dragon. So as you can see in the bottom of the of cards, you see you have a dragon of Kuru, two of souls, three of souls, and four of souls. Karta existed among other game sets in pre-modern Japan, such as the game of shell matching or kayawase. The game was popular in the late 12th century and was often played by young girls of nobility. Luxury sets of painted shells were often included as a part of well-to-do daughter's uh, bridal trousseau. Shell hubs uh, were painted uh, with identical images, uh, often depictions of famous scenes from traditional tales, such as the tale of Genji. And my understanding is that uh, though uh, there are many variations to a uh, kaiwase, one version of the game was uh, similar to the well-known matching games, uh, sometimes called concentration or uh, memory in English. Uh, players would lay the uh, shelves face down and then try to find the matching pairs. Um, another variation of Kayaose began to appear later, such as one in which players reportedly matching the right verse, verses of poetry written on the shelf together to form the correct poem. Uh, this game in particular would eventually have the shelves replaced by uh, paper cards. Um, thus become the recognized utakaruta or poem karuta. Some experts of the of subject be believe that utakaruta was indeed uh, created as a combination of traditional Japanese shell matching and the Portuguese karta uh, deck. The most famous type of utakaruta is con uh, connected to celebrated hyakuni issue the collection of 100 poems by 100 poets. The poems of Hyakuni Ishii were traditional waka, a poems in five lines with 31 syllables. Uh, the first three lines are called the kaminoku, or the uh, upper phrase. The final two lines making the shimonoku, the lower phrase. Uh, so those are shimonoku and those are kaminoku. And here you have Kaminoku here, and then there are some Shimonoku here. The um, game of Utakaruta involves a reader who recites from a deck of cards uh, containing only the upper phrase of a poem, the deck of cards containing only the lower phrase of those poems are laid out before prayers. The object of the game is for players to quickly identify and take the card in which the matching lower phrase of the recited poem is written. 
The game was uh, played by people across multiple social class classes, uh, including farmers with basic literacy. Another major uh, category of Japanese playing cards derived from Portuguese car carta uh, um, uh, gambling cards. In Edo period, more specifically the late 18th century, uh, restrictions on card gambling were tightened. It is likely that new uh, playing card game of Hanafuda was um, invented in um, response to those gambling restrictions as uh, pre-existing decks like those of Unsun Karuta were um, known to be used for gambling purposes. Numbers and suits of Hanafuda decks were uh, dis disguised as mere seasonal motifs of the 12 month that, uh, that were associated with the more uh, innocent educational purposes. Um, Kabufuda, uh, is another type of card gambling similar to Western uh, blackjack or uh, bakara, and was particularly popular among Edo commoners and outdoors. Outdoor. As the uh, literacy rate among commoners began to increase, everyday proverbs began to proliferate. The texts used in Utakaruta in turn began to diversify. In Iroha Karuta or Alphabet Karuta, um, which appeared in the late 17th century and later became the most popular variety of Japanese karuta, um, players would match cards marked with a single syllables of two a, a famous proverb that starts with the syllables. Uh, do you see here uh, that's the top the top syllables but matching here too. Um, similar to poem Karuta, the, a reader recites from a deck of cards with a proverb while uh, players uh, quickly grabbed from the correspondence, corresponding image cards laid before them. So rather than give a lengthy description, I thought it would be much, uh, much clearer and more entertaining to simply show you a demonstration of this game in action. This video was I, I this video I made was um, completed with the help of few members from another research groups group. Um, this group has been working on a collaborative research project across several uh, academic institutions to transcribe and translate a Bainiki manuscript dated to uh, 1714 titled uh, Shidotsu ya Monogatari, An All Night Tales of Boys Love. So let's play. Wakaba no wakasama warate wanzu. Wakaba no wakasama warate ヘイボンナ優しさが好きタンポポが好きグッドノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノー
This set in particular consists of a deck image cards and a deck of a text card and was likely intended to teach children how to read and to learn about Japan's famous uh, historical figures. So I like to introduce several of the heroes in this card set. The figure on the left, where she is, um, is Tomoe Gozen, the famous female warrior who fought in the Genpei War from 1180 to 1185. Uh, many of you probably have read about this war in uh, Tale of Heike, the well-known account of the conflict between uh, Minamoto, no, Minamoto and Taira clans. The Tomoe Gozen was on the opposing side of Minamoto no Yoritsune, um, the figure, oh, excuse me, Yoshitsune, the figure on the middle, perhaps the uh, most famous warrior from this time. In his youth, he was called Ushibakamaru, um, literally young bull. And his legend was gone uh, through a number of literary adaptations and theoretical productions across Japan, Japanese history. In brief, uh, young Ushibakamaru, having survived a military conflict that killed a number of his family members, was placed in the care, uh, care of temple monks and he grew to become a skilled warrior. Perhaps one of his most uh, memorable victories was his encounter against a figure on the right, Benkei. Yeah. The wandering warrior, monk notorious for collecting the weapons of his defeated opponents in combat. Only one sword short of 1,000 Benke was defeated by Ushibakamaru in their famous battle on Gojo Bridge. Uh, Benke's reputation of superhuman strength is reflected here in this card, um, in which he is uh, depicted lifting a gigantic bell, um, gesture to his uh, legendary uh, feat of single-handedly stealing a temple bell. Here we have Ishikawa Goemon, the folk hero whose uh, legendary ninja skills were purportedly used for good. One tale said his failed attempt to assassinate uh, World Lord Toyotomi Hideyoshi led to his gruesome execution by boiling oil. Here is uh, Minamoto no Yorimitsu, another warrior of uh, legend. Um, he is a famous slayer of Japanese demons or oni. Yorimitsu is uh, shown here uh, asleep beneath the spider web, not yet aware of the uh, devious earth spider after his own life. The Vendetta story of the Soga brothers was uh, widely popular and was likely to be included in school textbook before the World War II. But it has been suggested that circulation of uh, revenge of the Soga brothers and other heroic tales of vendetta settings were um, suppressed by the GHQ during the occupation of Japan following the war. So um, Kauta, especially Iroha Kauta, uh, were mainly educational games intended for children. A uh, number of decks have been uh, made for older audience um, and for other purposes. A deck, for example, uh, can be made of old movie stars, uh, longtime fans of whom might be eager to uh, collect as memorabilia. A competitive karuta tournament, that is utakaruta, competition scaling from uh, local competitions to national level uh, tourneys. Continue to enjoy widespread uh, participation and spectatorship in Japan. The physical and the mental intensity and athleticism, 
athleticism, uh, special, specifically uh, the dexterity and the concentration required in taking cars required for competitive culture uh, demonstrates demonstrates a sports culture of its own. The massive success of Chihaya Furu, a manga and anime series about competitive karuta, has led to a recent return in uh, popularity of the Hyakuni issue poems and uh, poem karuta. I recommend this series in case you are interested in how you can uh, learn Japanese poems and burn calories at the same time. So I hope you will join me uh, in learning more about the rich world of karuta. Lastly, I would like to thank the very many people who have made this exhibit and this presentation possible. I'd like to thank the Council of East Asian Studies for their generous acquisition funding. I thank those who are critical in the conception and exception of this uh, exhibit series. Um, although it may not be possible to name all, um, I also appreciate the behind the scene um, staff who have uh, done extraordinary job in uh, handling preservation and uh, con conservation of those exhibit items. And finally, I thank you, our community of library users. After all, the faculty, student, and Yale you know, associate. Um, for their continued support and efforts and uh, research and recommendation of library materials. So it goes without saying that this exhibit is here because of you who are invited, uh, invested in uh, expanding and learning from our library materials. Thank you. Um, so thank you very much for uh, listening. Uh, you can also scan this QR code to access the uh, bibliography I, I mentioned before.